plow that you can ride on when you're done. And you can even ride like this, of course. Whoa!
Caleb Morgan. I'm from Kyoto, Iowa. I'm Mick Morgan. I'm from Kyoto also. What do y'all got here today? Uh, I brought my 982 Cub Cadet. It's a repower with a 20 horse command. Now that's what they consider a super garden tractor. Yes, is that sir. Correct? Yep. And what year is that one? Um, you know, I don't even know. Okay, but it's it's a red one, so it would yep. be the early 80s yep. then, correct? Yep. All right. Yep. All right. And then you've got a 122. 122 that started out with a 10 horse, and it's evolved over the years. And I've always plowed with this tractor. And four years ago, I repowered it with an 18 horse V twin. Just always wanted the challenge of trying to stick a V twin in it. So yeah, got to going with it on one. Uh, fall before plow day and got it all put together. So did you notch the frame and yep, do all that the yourself? Frame, everything like that. So yep. Yeah. Caleb and I did all the work ourselves on it. So you have any trouble with the uh, clutch setup? With the... nope, nope. Yeah. Stock clutch with an aluminum disc and it's all it is. So all right. Oh, well, the 122 is probably I'm guessing four month project. Um, Caleb's twin is. He's gotten so good at it, he can probably swap one out overnight, seriously, so. I can do one in about six hours. Wow. In and out. Okay. Do you have to do any frame modifications no. on those? Not on the spread frames. Okay. On the wide, what? On the, the wide, wide frame They're considered yeah. a wide yes. frame, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. We just enjoy the hobby because it's family oriented, and we like to see a lot of people getting their kids involved in it, you know, instead of sitting in the house playing on the tablets and YouTube, and it's it's just a great thing for everybody to have some fun, clean fun. That's right. Good fun. Yep. My name is Chris Chandler. I'm from just north of Columbia, Missouri, in the small town of Harrisburg. Uh, have a Sears. Cover up the Sears Custom. What's right custom here, about it? It's yeah. not a John Deere. That's right. There you go. <laughs> um, Where'd you get this tractor from? My grandpa bought it years ago and more or less got an addiction with them because we got upwards of 25 of them. Yeah. And yeah, we just we got all kinds of names of them John Deere's, Cup Cadets, Sears. Wheel horse. So it doesn't have to be just a John Deere or a Cub Cadet to be out here at a plow day then, nope, right? Nope, nope, not at all. If no. it's got a plow that'll fit on it, bring it. Were you here last year? I was. And Mark? I had the same tractor here. It's actually the only one I have with a plow on it. Yeah. <laughs> Seemed like it was doing a little bit better this year. Yeah, it was. In the softer ground. The ground was pretty hard last year. It was. It's it was not very hard, hard this year. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple pulling garden tractors, both both built from Cup Cadet, sheet metal and chassis. Chassis. And, uh, They're probably pretty quiet too, aren't they? <laughs> no, no, absolutely no. not. My name's Patrick Zigglebein from Boonville, Missouri, and uh, got a 74 Case 444. I don't know exactly what year the 1855 Massey is, but I've had them for a little while, not too long. Early but, 80s, would you say, on the Massey? Uh, yeah, I'd say early 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, how many horses is that? 18 horse, Conan, Quinn. Yep. Yep. And what's this? Then what's this one over here? That's a that's a 14 horse Kohler single cylinder. Yep. Right. Yep. Is it any, got any extra options on it, or, uh, it's or got is it a, just pretty much a? It's got a flow control valve to adjust your speed, and it's got a three point as you can see on the back with hydraulics set up. So, yep. How long have you been into the garden tractor hobby? Probably. Not as long as you, but uh, I think you're the one that got me involved in it because I come to all these shows and seen you, and I was like, hey, that looks like fun. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yes, it's a lot of work <laughs> for what it's you have to do. It starts off as one, yeah. and that's easy to do. Yeah, and then when you get a collection and you try to take them all somewhere, it's a lot of work. Oh, it's it's, it's and a lot of batteries. Yeah, a lot of batteries. <laughs> About how many tractors you think you got? Forty plus. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> I don't know. Give yeah. or take. But, you know, a lot of them don't run there. A lot of them parts. parts. tractors mm -hmm. and whatnot. you got to have parts tractors. Yeah. Because you can't go to a local dealership and just pick it up. No. 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 The, the interweb is helped in the, you know, right. tracking down some parts. But right. there's some things that you just have to go hunt down and find. And that's kind of the fun about all of this. Oh, is, yeah. Is the joy of... of finding it the joy of tracking it down and mm -hmm. and then if you find something like this haggling with them about getting the price down oh, and, yeah. and trying to find it you That's know a, that, that you said it right there the hunt is probably uh -huh. i'd say 70 percent of it yeah yeah, yeah because is. they don't make them anymore no you no know, like like we were talking the other day you know right there's a big difference it is a lot different than these is there any brand or model that you favor the most or that's kind of your you know your go-to uh not really i like them all yeah i like the oddball stuff i really do and i, I do like leaving them in like we were talked earlier uh work clothes you know yep. if they're not too bad yep. but, uh, yeah they're only original one time right uh jeff sandergren from luther iowa what would you bring with you today today i brought a cub cadet that i worked on this last winter it's the first time i've had it out in the plow field uh, it's a 2072. Uh, it's got a friendly category zero plow on it. So and that would be a 20 horse opposing twin Kohler? Kohler. Yeah. Kohler. Now you were saying that you didn't do hardly any repaint on no, this. No, that's all original, all original paint on this. Decals and everything. Yeah, original I painted on that. The, the grill and the decals are original. Uh, I put the, the light and uh, you know had my own wheel weights and, right. and so forth. So. All right. Well, what got you into the hobby? Well, a lady at work told me that uh, she had an old lawnmower in her garage that she couldn't use in her backyard because they had dogs and it was fenced. And all she knew about it was that it was yellow. And that started it all. I showed up and they wanted $50 for an Turned original, a and a, a Cub Cadet original in very good condition. Wow. I put a battery in it and a shift fork in it and that started the madness. What's your name and where are you from? My name's Tracy. I'm from Boonville, real close to here. We're, uh, you know, right here, native locals. And uh, I brought my uh, early 50s superpower, David Bradley. And, uh, you know, this this thing, I've had it for a long time. My, my father actually gave it to me when I was, you know, real, real young, probably, I don't know, 10 years old. And I'm knocking on 40 right now. So I've, I've drug it with me all over every place I've ever moved to. Um, and it was just, just a pile of, of rust, basically. And probably three four years ago we restored it and uh, I love bringing it to shows like this we, we really don't use it a whole lot um, other than other than just plowing so it, it did really good for an event like this so what is the uh, deal with the steel wheels so this is a really rare uh, really rare find you don't really see steel wheels on any David Bradley I all over my internet searches this is probably the third one I've ever seen uh, these were not the original wheels for it. I had to buy the wheels. That's what I was going to ask um, you. Because everybody has rubber perfect. tires. Yeah, everybody has rubber. And I thought, man, I got to have those steel wheels. I found them on eBay. Um, I get 500 bucks for those wheels. That hmm. is an arm and a leg. And what'd you get for the tractor? Uh, nothing. <laughs> so, it, it equaled out. You yeah. Know? Um, I've got I've got good paint on it. You know, don't don't go to the uh, the local store and buy buy your uh, buy your paint. Get good paint and. You know, this thing has set outside actually, and I'm ashamed to say this, it's set outside for the last year, not under shelter. And uh, it's, I've got stuff that's got junky paint on it and it would have faded fade out. out and chalk out yep. and just look horrible. Yep. 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 Uh, what got you into collecting garden tractors or any even into the garden tractor? So when I was growing up, my dad uh, was a tractor puller and my family always was into tractor pulling. So I got into garden tractor pulling and uh, you know, probably at the age of nine years old, I would say I got in nine or ten. You know, I mean, same same time as I got this, uh, got into that garden tractor pulling, and uh, just always really, you know, it, it's feasible or it's really easy for someone to uh, build build a garden tractor, no matter what stage it is, uh, versus you know, building a big pulling tractor or something. That's right. They're easier to haul. That's right. <laughs> They're you know, I didn't to have to bring a trailer today, with. so yeah. There's a, a rumor around a, about a speeding ticket on a yeah on a garden tractor. I was 14 years old. Got a speeding ticket on a, on a. I would I would probably call it a lawnmower because it wasn't so yeah. much a garden tractor. Um, One that you could manipulate the pulleys. That's right. There there is a difference between a garden tractor and a lawnmower, uh, such as you know that. But yeah, 40 40 miles an hour in a 20. 
two stop signs and failure to yield was my speeding ticket at 14 years old on lawnmower. Who got that ticket? Um, I got that ticket, yeah. That wasn't a parents got no, the ticket? No, no that was that me. Was that was me sitting in the cop car for the first time and uh, him just shaking his head. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, a, that's another story for another time. Well, I'm sure this will be on your page, so yeah. you want to go over your... your hauling machine here just a little bit and, yeah this might and maybe some new updates you've done to it well it's my 1949 chevy truck i've owned this for uh almost a year at uh, the end of this month in june will be a uh, one full year of having this thing it's you know just over 70 years old it uh hasn't hadn't ran for 30 years uh set in a storage shed for about 30 years one owner truck and uh we've got plenty of videos on this thing if you haven't seen that but uh, and yeah, you're, and you're still using it. You use it as your almost shop truck. a daily driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our shop truck in town. Um, it's the parks running truck. I mean, it's well, it gets attention. Uh, I've been asking other people what else they had in their collection. What else do you have in your collection? So we make this a family event, um, not so much just myself. Um, I've got a, a wife, of course, and uh, two boys. Uh, one of them, he, he's just just born so he's two months old so he doesn't have anything yet but uh well you're running a little behind i know i am behind i should have had that planned out before uh beforehand but uh we've got my my oldest son henry he is uh six years old almost and he has a 74 i believe it is cub low boy and fully restored actually uh you and i the one that you and i restored and right. put a cab on that thing um, that's rare. You don't see cabs, especially in this country, uh, this part of the country. You see they get more. a little warm in this yeah, part. Yeah, and of it them. is warm. You know, you see them up north, and that's actually where my whole family we drove up to Wisconsin on a whim, um, found it, and called the guy. And uh, pretty sure that day we yeah. said, "Hey, we're heading that way." He said, "Yeah, I'll sell the cab." And uh, actually, kind of a side note, I found a cab years ago on Craigslist, just you know, two hours away. And I no nope, couldn't pull the trigger. Couldn't pull the trigger. Couldn't do it. <laughs> yep. And uh, I kicked myself in the butt ever since. And uh, Miles Wolf, a friend of ours, you know, he's a tractor guru. guru. <laughs> and uh, he said, if you ever find another one, you yeah. better buy it. So yeah. we went up to Wisconsin. It was longer than two hours uh, of a drive. But now, will this uh, low boy be in any future episodes yeah, so where we can we can take a look at it and get it out and? Yep, absolutely. Run it. We can. We can. Um, I plan on putting a video up of that restoration that you and I did on that. Um, I've got uh, I've got some videos where we put some dual wheels on it and made some uh, adapters for that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that out and, and do a few things with it. It's going to be hot inside. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you just recently bought a a, a newer generation uh, garden tractor. Oh yeah. So I'm not. I'm, so this Which is, like is my, it's a worker though. This is my AA meeting moment here. I am not a John Deere fan at all. Um, just, you know, you grow up like not that. Not being that way. Yeah, and it just ingrained in you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought it my first John Deere garden tractor. It's a 420. And man, I've told you a hundred times, it is a good mower. It's I mean, a beast. It's they a are good beasts. little tractor. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I enjoy it. And that's another one you took the whole family on a road trip. Yep. Is that correct? Yep, we drove to <laughs> Illinois on that thing. Uh, same thing found it that day hey we're coming to get this thing because it was that good of a deal sometimes you just can't you know you can't drag your feet on and there's things. sometimes you drive and go uh oh yep this is not what you I've told done me that yeah so <laughs> yeah word to the wise <laughs> be honest with what you got <laughs> yeah for sure well, I yeah. appreciate you putting this on a lot of people have fun and uh, this this events growing and uh, I believe uh, we're gonna have another one you're having another one this fall right yeah uh we're gonna try to have one on the first of uh october yep. um we are doing a smaller version of this for the uh steaming association show that we have in september which is the last or the excuse me the uh weekend after labor day yep. um we'll be uh plowing with garden tractors on thursday and friday at 11 o'clock and that that it's just going to be a, a smaller uh, event and kind of more demonstration than yeah. anything but then a couple weeks after that we'll put on another one of these and with the one that we're doing then we're going to try to uh, possibly have a, a swap meet along with cool. it for because we had a guy here that brought some parts and he done pretty well That's today good. you know there's there's always people looking for stuff well I know that uh, you know this the first video if you guys I'm sure you have seen it if you're watching this plow day video the second one here you've seen the first one um, that we did last fall 
and that thing as of right now it's got almost 500,000 views on it so a lot of people are watching that but one of the big things that a lot of people kept asking me in that on the comment section was I don't have a John Deere. I don't have a Cub Cadet. Can I bring it? Doesn't matter. Yeah, you've seen that. Like today. Chris said earlier, if it goes in the ground, turns dark, bring yep, it. Yep. You know, we're kind of limited to the, to a 12 inch plow though. You know, we don't want these big tractors out here and, and sure. rolling big mounds up and yeah. stuff like that. We want to kind of limit to a 12 inch plow. And yep. Under. Single bottom plow. Single bottom 12. You don't want to have you know the the Ford uh, nine eight in out here. Yeah, with, you know, the, so. four, with a 14 or even right. you know 16 or or some of these bottom plows that yeah. they used after a flood to roll the dirt back over. Right. So another thing that you have been the your you've been the brainchild on this was the uh, the Missouri River Valley Garden Tractor Club, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, just started it. Just started it. You know, and and all makes are welcome. I mean, Garden Tractor yeah. Club. So whatever goes. Yeah, and, exactly. Whatever goes yeah, goes. And it's a uh, you know non -for, non for profit organization, that's just right. just like the Missouri River Valley Steam Engine Association. So that's kind of where uh, it's just an offshoot of that. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's it's its own deal, but it's kind of it's. It, it grew from from the steam association here yeah so uh yeah awesome man thanks for having us today well, and sure we thank everybody it. for coming out we had a really good showing for the uh the latest weather we had